Hey guys, we're continuing our series, Emojis on Emotional Health. We have looked at authenticity and blind spots and integrity. And this week we looked at the idea of conflict revolution. How do we take conflict, flip it on, flip it on its head so that we can actually use it to have more intimacy? Because conflict, if handled from a Jesus perspective, can be a catalyst to intimacy with others and God. It's just the truth. As long as we take a look at it the way Jesus did. You see, Jesus was always after people's hearts in any sort of conflict environment, whether it be with the Pharisees or Pilate. He was after people's hearts. And so when we look at conflict, our first priority is not to win an argument or defend our rights or to prove that we are wrong or they're, they're you know, we're right, they're wrong kind of thing. The ultimate situation, our view in any sort of conflict, is that we want the hearts of the person that we're in conflict with to know Jesus and his kingdom. That's the ultimate purpose. See, we're not trying to win an argument. We're trying to win hearts for the kingdom of God and the well-being of people. And it even says in uh, Matthew that blessed is Jesus. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Not blessed are those that are living in peace, but the peacemakers. So I believe, you guys, that as followers of Jesus, we can be the best at conflict resolution. We're empowered by the Holy Spirit. We have the teachings of Jesus, and I think we can do this. So may you be blessed. Check out the three questions uh, attached to this video, and may we be peacemakers to the glory of God and the well-being of others.